Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. He's been returned unto me Everything that was stolen Prophesy one time to yourself That everything that was lost Shall be returned unto me Everything that was stolen Speak to the atmosphere Is a prophecy, it's not a song. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. One more time from the depth of your heart. Lift your voice in one minute and say, speak to me, O God. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Are you praying? I tell you the presence of God is mighty in this place. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. 
Can you shout a resounding hallelujah? Let every devil know you are alive and doing well and you insist that that which belongs to you must come to you. Shout one more time hallelujah. I want to share with us a spiritual secret tonight and then we will pray. I want to share with us very briefly the secret of spiritual power. Please, I want you to pay attention. There is no man who wants to make a mark in the sands of time. There is no man living in the 21st century who wants to make any notable mark in the spirit. Who will ignore the place of power. There are so many believers who are zealous. So many believers want to become all that God has destined them to be. They have desire. They are sincere. They may even have faith. But they lack spiritual power. Hallelujah. What you will be learning very briefly and then we'll pray. is supposed to empower you. Listen. A point must come in the life of a man when you will have an encounter with power. This realm that we live in is a realm that is compelled by power. It's not compelled by desire. It's not just compelled by sincerity. It's compelled by power. Psalm 63. The psalmist began to cry and communicate something. Psalm 63. Are we there? O oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee, my soul tasted for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and weary land where no water is. And this is why I seek for you. Verse 2. He says to see thy power and thy glory reproduced in my life. The same way I saw it in the sanctuary. It's not enough to see power in the church and on crusade grounds. Lord, I want that spiritual reality 
to be at work in my life. Years ago, when I sensed the call of God upon my life, please listen. I began to study books and study men and women. I studied large churches and ministries. And I found out as I studied that there were so many people who were powerless and could not do much. And when God began to describe to me the kind of ministry and the dimensions that he would want me to walk in, I knew that I would have to spend time with God until I taught something genuine. Otherwise, I would have to join the band of people misleading and deceiving themselves and other people. Speaking with no results. And then, I began a journey exploring spiritual power. I began to study the lives of men and women who had been used mightily. Unfortunately, I did not find many of them that were models enough. I began to study the generals. I began to study the apostles, Elijah. Hallelujah. And in the course of my journey, for me, it was a matter of life and death. It was not just for my name. I knew that I would confront sick people. I knew that I would confront oppressed people. I knew that it would take power for any kind of increase in ministry spiritually numerically and otherwise i knew posters would only do so much i knew english would only do so much and i made up my mind that i have no message for god's people until i have the power to prove it please pay attention to what i'm sharing this is an exhortation i want to stir up your heart i watch in sincere grief as I see a lot of men of God and people who want to be used by God with so much zeal so much English but no power and then a few who have taught what they believe to be power convince themselves that because they touched someone and he fell down power why do you need spiritual power I will tell you Pastor Alpha and Manasseh shared it very powerfully. There are giants on every mountain. Please pay attention. This city has gates. That you are here is a sign of dominion. It's not a sign of the absence of darkness. It's a sign of the prevailing power of God over them. There are many lives here that have been buffeted by darkness. I talk to people all the time and I minister, I minister all the time. And I watch with shock the way Satan prevails cheaply over the lives of people. There are doors that will never open until power opens them. When Moses went to Pharaoh, there was very little conversation. When the conversations were done, it was an encounter of power. Are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? And then I began to pray. I remember when I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. He never spoke a word to me, but he transferred power. Never spoke one word, but something left him and entered my spirit. He said, the entrance of your word giveth light and understanding unto the simple. I remember when I began to see the miracles and the hand of God. Then I began to see other issues that I could not contend with in the lives of people. And I knew that I had to go back. And that was when I learned that you must consistently contend for spiritual power. Let me tell you something. There is too much noise in the church because there is little power. You will always have to explain and explain and explain. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech. He says, but I came to you in the demonstration of the spirit power. That your faith will not be upon the wisdom of men, but upon the power of God. Tonight, I want to guide us through 
a few secrets my personal spiritual journey I promise you that if you pay attention to this little exhortation you will encounter power Jacob was a man who met with the Lord and he held on to him he said I will not let you go it was an encounter with power he said leave me for the day break it he said no way I said what is your name he said my name is Jacob a cheat and a supplanter and he says from now henceforth your name is changed to Israel for as a prince you have fought with God you have contended with God and prevailed a time must come in a man's life when you'll be tired of the level you are and cry in desperation Lord I need your power and your glory in my life there are gates many of us come from all kinds of regions hear me your personal salvation does not deliver your territory the gates are still there are you getting what I'm saying there are giants on every mountain The Bible says, how terrible art thou in your works. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. I remember Bishop Oyedeko sharing one time and he said how that the church was not growing. They were fasting. They were praying. And doing all they knew to do. And it was not growing. And then. One time. While they gathered with the brethren. And they were angry at the situation. He said the Lord asked him to come out. And when he stepped out. He saw a dark cloud. And he said this is the cloud. That makes people to misunderstand your ministry. And he commanded the cloud to roll away. And there was an explosion. Let me tell you something. Time does not change anything. It is power that brings change. Time only reveals. It does not change. For 38 years, the man was sitting at Bethesda. But when the power of God came upon his life, it is power that can give you audacity to be able to bring heaven to bear. To be able to bring the realities of the realm of the spirit here and now it takes power to change an ss genotype to an aa it takes power to open the door of marriage for a lady that it has been closed it takes power for a woman without womb to get pregnant it takes power for someone whose life has been tied forever through the greatness of thy power i made up my mind that i have no ministry if i cannot demonstrate its validity Three keys very quickly. And then we are going to pray. The first secret the Lord taught me. Before we talk on the keys, let me just give us a little preamble. First John chapter 5 verse 9. Help us media. First John 5 verse 19. Very simple but interesting revelation that God gives us there. First John 5 verse 19. Can we read together as projected? One, two, read. Can you read it louder? One, two, read. Although we are of God, I'm giving you an information that the whole cosmos, the social system, lie in wickedness. Please believe this. That the whole world lies in wickedness. You don't need to offend anybody. The condition to be a victim or a potential victim of the curse that comes upon creation is that you are born of a woman. For as long as you arrive here safely, from birth until you transit, there is a potential for disaster. It takes power. It says, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Rule thou. Pastors, hear me. If your ministry must move from where it is, you can have all the connection in the world. 
it takes spiritual power. Hallelujah. It takes power for anything to happen in this life. The first key to spiritual power is consecration. Write it down. Don't trivialize what I'm sharing. If you want to see the power and the anointing of the spirit upon your life, the first key is not praying in tongues. The first key is a life of consecration. What does it mean to be consecrated? It means to be yielded. It means to be aligned. It means to be separated unto God. Consecration is a reflection of your submission. A dedication that you have given your whole self, spirit, soul and body. You have laid down your will. I see so many people who want power, but they still own their wills. Let me tell you something. If it is true spiritual power you want to see in your life, your will must die. Your personal will, your ambition, you must be willing to lay it aside if you want power with God. You cannot take the power of God and fulfill your own agenda. You must die to your agenda. Are you getting blessed? Spiritual power is not a gift. Make no mistakes about it. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Consecration. The price of yieldedness. The centurion, when Jesus came, he made a statement. He said, for I am a man under authority. And on the strength of my submission to an authority, I can tell one go and he will go. I can tell one come and Jesus looked at him. A Roman citizen with such an understanding of the kingdom. Forget about spiritual power when your will is still alive. You want to run your life by your own terms, by your own way. So many pastors are doing their ministry they are church. So many businessmen are doing their business until it becomes God's own. Forget about power. Dedication. Consecration. I'll never forget one time when I was praying. It was, it, it's not a doctrine, it's my personal cause. I had to, I was praying and I had to stand before God. Lay down, I stood naked from head to toe. And I say, Lord, I'm dedicated by this prophetic act. My spirit, my soul, and my body. Let this mortal body become a superconductor of your anointing. I give it to you. I have no ambition of my own. My entire life is around the circumference of his will. You want to see the power of God upon your life? You must come to a point where you die to your will. Do not think God will give you power to do your thing. No. It will have to be at his terms. That's what was happening to Jacob. He touched his tie and made him everly dependent on an authority other than himself. There are so many people who are not consecrated to God. It takes dedication. It takes total surrender. That's the word. Surrender. Surrender. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. You gave your everything. 
So I give my everything You gave your everything I give my everything Take all of me All of me Lord This is the key This is what I did with my life Lord Take everything Take my ambition Take my destiny Take everything that means life to me. I surrender it to you. And God says, if you can give me everything. He says, for because you did not withhold your son. That was the key. Consecration is not just about religious rituals. It's about a state of surrender. A state where you know that he becomes your life. It's a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I live in the body, the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son. Are you willing to give up everything? The problem is many of us are not willing to give up everything. Because we have been able to educate ourselves falsely. That every time you surrender all to God, he makes you a failure. Every time you give up to God, he, he, will, he will destroy your life. But he says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. If it is your business, get set to die. If it is your marriage, get set for the pressure to kill you. If they are your children, get set to kill yourself raising them. But when it becomes his own. This song that we sing, they all belong to you even the air that we breathe it all belongs to you belongs to you belongs to you that's the anthem of my life there's nothing in my life that belongs to Joshua Selma it belongs to you Listen, I have transferred every responsibility to him. I will play my part, but it belongs to him. My life is not my own. I have no ambition of myself. My breath belongs to him. My strength belongs to him. This is the first secret of spiritual power. Consecration. That life of surrender. Believe me. So many men of God run around with dots of oil looking for anybody that is anointed and they kneel down with their carnality and flesh you can soak yourself inside one jerry can of anointing oil you will only get up littered with oil but you will not touch power with God you want power with God the first secret is surrender I'm not talking of born again I'm talking of him taking he says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. He was speaking to the church, but he was still crying for intimacy. Number two, the second secret of spiritual power is revelation and insight. Revelation and insight. Ephesians chapter 1, please. Let's look at verse 18. Paul the apostle prayed a prayer to the church in Ephesus. And he made an interesting statement. Help us please. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. He says that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, flooded with light. Then he says that ye may know. When the eyes of your understanding is flooded with light, you know. You come into oneness with a reality. It doesn't just mean to be aware. It's not talking of awareness. It's talking of a state of oneness where you and that reality have become one. It says that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe 
according to the working of his mighty power. The Bible says, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all that we ask or imagine. But all of that is limited to the power that works within us. Light and illumination. When light breaks open over your spirit, please hear me. When illumination breaks open, authority is given to you in the spirit. One time I was in a vision. I've shared it here a number of times. And while I was in a vision, I saw a big door. Giant gate. And when I looked closely, it was zoomed to me. And I looked at it closely. And I found out that that big door was made of smaller doors. And on every door, there was a scriptural inscription on it. I saw the doors opening and closing. And every time they opened light, like an arrow would just shoot out of it. And then the Lord began to reveal to me that this is what happens. When people catch a revelation of a dimension of truth, the light, the power, the anointing to demonstrate its validity is released upon them. Meaning when you teach a thing you cannot demonstrate, you have not caught the light yet, no matter how you pretend it. Illumination. Illumination. This is part of the benefit of prayer. That when you pray, capacity is given to you in the spirit. It's like a, a, an elevation in the spirit that tilts you in a position where you are able to see clearer. And on the strength of that illumination, you will walk. Hallelujah. There are so many people groping around. Dominion, I've said it again and again. Dominion is not an impartation. You don't receive an impartation called dominion. No. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the laws and the mysteries of the kingdom. The scripture Pastor Alpha shared in Job 38, he was trying to quote it. Verse 33, he says, Knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens, and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth? Do you know the laws that govern the realm of the spirit? And can you establish their dominion? There is something that if you know right now, the door that has been closed over you will open. There is an access to light there is something when a pastor knows increase becomes unlimited. There is something when a man of God knows his life becomes a mystery. Every man functions according to the measure of light that is accessible to him. The Bible says you will only arise and shine to the degree to which your light has come. Not when you are tired of sitting. Arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Let me tell you a little secret. Especially if you are in ministry. There is a level of spiritual illumination that begins to rise from your life and your ministry. It starts attracting a kind of people. First, it will attract Gentiles. Kings will not come yet. Kings don't come to your light. They come to the brightness. So there is a degree of illumination you have that will begin to bring certain people. But as the light keeps getting brighter, it will begin to compel certain kinds of people. Light. Illumination. I'm not just talking of Bible study. I'm talking about access to the mysteries of the kingdom. It says, call on to me. And that's why we are praying tonight. Because we need access to light. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call on to me and I will answer. He says, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. There are things we do not know. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants. Not everything is accessible to everyone. When Saul and his men, watch this. Uh, was it Saul or David now? I can't get the story quite clearly. But when they 
were returning back they were tired and hungry and they went to the priest and asked they said we want bread here's what the priest said they said he said there is no ordinary bread the common bread is finished but there is a hallowed bread there are deeper things in the spirit weightier dimensions of illumination that can turn a man to become like a spirit but it happens when you call upon him he says call unto me when the king wanted to destroy Daniel and all his friends he said let the king not be hasty in this I will bring the king a right answer he went back and called upon him and his eyes were open he says then the secret was revealed unto Daniel brothers and sisters hear me the next dimension of our life and destinies are at the mercy of spiritual secrets and mysteries this ministry by the grace of God is revolving around mysteries spiritual mysteries a mystery is a hidden code of operation it's a spiritual code of operation that only takes the agency of the Holy Ghost for you to understand its operation and it says it has been given unto you to know there is a mystery that will command dominion in your family. That all those powers of darkness that attempt to tie people's destinies down. Illumination. Number three. The third key to walking in spiritual power is being and remaining full of the Holy Ghost. Being full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. There are different measures and dimensions of the Holy Spirit that can find expression in people. But if you want spiritual power in your life, let me tell you there is no laziness. You must be full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, Satan, come to me and does not find anything of himself. It was, it was Stephen while he was about to be stoned the bible says he was full of the holy ghost and power to a point that his face was like that of an angel in bible time the condition to be a worker in the welfare department is that you are full of the holy ghost and wisdom that was a requirement to serve tables you must be full of the holy ghost there are so many believers who are not full of the Holy Ghost. That's why we carry our emptiness and we keep embarrassing ourselves. And there is one spiritual key to being full of the Holy Ghost. Prayer. Prayer. The ministry of prayer with fasting. It's the key. Spiritual key. That's why we must pray. When you are full of the Holy Ghost, Brothers and sisters, there is an energy that is generated within you. Every yoke, is, the Bible gives us a picture. It's like an expansion that is happening. There is a level that expansion gets. It breaks every chain at once. At once. Full of the Holy Ghost. That's the level that we must contend. That you pray to a point where you become full of the Spirit. And certain things will happen to you the moment you are full of the spirit. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine, wherein in excess. It says, but be ye filled with the Holy Ghost. If you are truly filled, naturally, certain things will start. You will start speaking. Not by your mental ascent. You are speaking as a response. Because when, when you are full of anything, Whatever spirit or agency fills you up begins to live out its nature through you. Manifesting its characteristics through you. That's how people become superhuman. They are full of the Holy Ghost to a point that they become puppets. Their voice is the voice of the spirit. Their hands have become the hands of the Holy Ghost. So when they tell you God bless you, they speak on the strength of the agency. The only way 
to communicate being full of the Holy Spirit is being drunk. When a man drinks to stupor, there is a level to which he drinks and that, that alcohol influences his mind and his faculty and momentarily he loses consciousness. At that point, he will say things and do things that are a direct influence of that alcohol. When you become full of the Holy Spirit, then the spirit of prophecy will fall on you and you will begin to speak and call things that be not. Let me tell you something. The correct order of dominion prayers is to pray in tongues until you are full before you begin to prophesy. You don't just stand up and start saying, in Jesus' name, gates open. No, there is a dimension you stretch in the spirit. It's like an escape velocity. When you get there, the spirit of prophecy comes upon you. And you begin to make decrees. And I trust God that we'll get to that dimension tonight. That is the level where you can call things that be not as though they were. That is the level where the anointing will shatter every yoke when you are full of the Holy Spirit. But when that power is at work in your life, it begins to activate possibilities. Brothers and sisters, hear me. It takes power for the gate of your destiny to be opened. Every one of us here is on our way to destiny. But it takes power. Otherwise, the gates will not open. Tonight, hear me. You are going to stand and pray until the chains that lock up the gate of your destiny give way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm preparing our hearts because we are going to pray. The devil must give up on you. You must pray until that spirit of barrenness jumps out of your life. You must pray until the chains that are tying down your life go. You must pray. There is a way you can pray yourself to victory. It's like a flight in the spirit. You keep praying. When the flesh is tired, you say, no way. When you keep ascending, you will get to a point in the spirit where you would have touched reality. Brothers and sisters, you will never come back again. It's an escape velocity in the spirit. And then you wake up and all of a sudden you see doors opening. Don't wait until a word of knowledge is given or a prophecy. Tonight we are praying ourselves to destiny. We are kings and priests. We will take on the priestly role first. We will stretch in the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? James chapter 5 verse 13. Is any man afflicted? Let him pray. Not let him discuss. Not let him complain. Is any man challenged by gates? Are there doors that have refused to open? Let him pray. Is any man jobless? And you've done your applications and doors are not open. Pray your way to victory. Terminal diseases is because they have an occasion to lead to your flesh. When you generate power in the spirit, when you generate fire in the spirit, it burns every chaff. Does any man desire to see signs and wonders? And miracles in your ministry and in your life. You pray. 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 Anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power. Let me repeat it. Anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power. You can pray your way to victory in the spirit. You can pray your way to favor and breakthrough. You can pray your way and smash those doors. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. It takes prayer. When the apostles were caught and James was beheaded, it pleased Herod. The people were happy and they bound Peter they were about to kill Peter and the church said, no way. And they began to pray. Prayer 
authorizes heaven to step in in your affairs. When you pray, you authorize heaven. When you pray, you activate the ministry of angels. When you pray, you begin the work of creation. Creation did not stop on the seventh day. God only rested. Those who can access the power and the light. Tonight, I want you to be angry with the things that have been happening in your life. Some of us are like a battery. We have gone down spiritually. You must pray yourself to fullness. There are so many men of God who do not pray. And they stand and do all kinds of gymnastics. Let me tell you something. Nothing in your life will cover for the absence of prayer. When a man is not a prayer man, it shows there is, there is a touch of eternity upon you when you are a man of prayer. For Elijah was a man of like passion and he used prayer to lock the gates over a city. He did not use a discussion with Ahab. Prayer! He locked the gate and kept the keys in his pocket. He said that gate will not be open except at my word. Tonight, you can pray yourself to victory. Inside and outside and all around, there are families that have come tonight. People have traveled from far and near. It's time to pray yourself to victory. Pray yourself to victory until you are full of the Holy Ghost. The key of consecration. The key of illumination. The key of prayer. Being full of the Holy Ghost. You become a bank of spiritual power. Hear me. Let me say this especially. This seems to work only for men of God. It may not be applicable for other people. But let me give pastors a secret. The day power comes to your life, poverty has died forever. I guarantee you. I, the day power comes upon your life, genuine spiritual power not nonsense that people are doing around the day power comes you have gotten something that is worth it i was teaching the school of ministry students and i told them that if not for anything when you find the anointing you have found what is more than gold we trivialize the anointing hear me the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference Oh God, you are my God. Early, like we are doing, will I seek you. My soul thirst for you. I want to see your power and your glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Media, do you have this in the trim audio? They don't have it. There will be different sessions and I'm going to be leading the sessions. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying in tongues for one hour at a stretch non-stop. After that, when the spirit of prophecy is upon you, there is an anointing who anoint us and all of that and then we can minister to people but we need to pray. Do you have it? Are you ready with it? Okay, so quickly. Everyone is going to participate. We are going to pray. It takes prayer. It takes prayer. Everyone say it takes prayer to command victories. Say it takes prayer. That's what a vigil is. A vigil is not a time to sip tea and take lemon juice and, and banana cake. You are joking. A vigil is a time to tell the devil Christ has won this, I come to establish my victory. Listen, the breakthroughs that will arise from this prayer session will surprise many of you. You never know how cheap Satan is until you're a man of prayer. You never know how cheap doors can be. How cheap they can open. Pray. Pray. When you pray in the secret, then you make your life easy in the open. But when you do not pray, 
Many of us pray, but we pray amiss. Tonight, I want to teach you strategies, deep strategies for spiritual prayer that will produce results. That you are talking does not mean you are praying. There are many people who are talking for a long time and they leave that place with the same misery and frustration. There, there are dimensions and laws and there are rules of engagement. I don't know about you, but part of my request, I told God, I must step into new levels of grace in this vigil. Shortly before I came here, I lay down flat before the Lord and I said, Lord, my personal desire, I know you will use me to touch and bless your people, but whilst that is happening, I hold on to your garment. There is a new level. I saw in a vision a curtain open and there was another one and I was pushed forward. I said, that's it. I must pray till what I have seen. Many of you have seen things in your dream. Prayer is the weapon that you use to bring it to pass. You have seen a great life. You have seen a prosperous destiny. But there are gates. Make no mistakes about it. Your business will not just excel. There are gates. Sister, the marriage will not just happen. There are gates. But tonight, ministries and destinies will rise to a new level. Please, I'm saying this so that you will prepare your spirit. Prepare your spirit. Rise up, everybody. Inside and outside, please rise up. The first prayer point is a cry for grace. Call it the spirit of prayer and supplication. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, release upon me the spirit of prayer and supplication. Just pray. Please, everybody, rise. Rise, rise, rise. Stand on your feet. You came to pray. Do this for the sake of your destiny. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors Open up the gates Open up the doors Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name so God and we will call upon your name. We can also God and we will call upon your name. Hallelujah. I want you to lift your voice and pray in one minute before we start praying properly. Say, Lord, I surrender everything to you. Lift your voice and pray. Take everything inside and outside, right to the back. Lord, I've tried to live my life my own way. I surrender everything. I surrender my will, my ambition. I surrender everything. It belongs to you. Total surrender. Lord, it belongs to you. The bread is yours. The gift is yours. The business is yours. The ministry is yours. 
it belongs to you hallelujah media are you ready please let me know when you are ready you're ready now hallelujah dr cindy trim is a woman of prayer cindy trim is a woman with a strong prophetic grace for prayer and we're going to be using her one hour prophetic declaration she makes prophetic declarations is an audio while that is happening until it finishes is a guide the moment it starts we are stretching in the spirit no sleeping anyone who is sleeping hold his hands and walk around with them no sleeping praise the lord because this is about your destiny outside make sure you participate whatever you do be ready to stretch it in the spirit and i want you to imagine yourself ascending a ladder in the spirit where you are tearing down the walls of limitation hallelujah father i stretch my hands over your people and i ask for a supply of grace to pray grace to pray let the spirit of prayer and supplication come upon you let the capacity the capacity to stretch in the spirit it cannot be by your efforts hallelujah are you ready now praise the lord lift your voice everybody begin to pray in the spirit pray like a priest only in the spirit only in the spirit open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues for as a prince as a prince this is not just your normal prayer life i know i know normally you pray you are under a heavy unction there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, 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 break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain. up your Bibles please Psalm 92 Psalm 92 We're entering another phase. Verse 10. Psalm 92 verse 10. I want us to read it together. One to read. One more time. Horn is a symbol of authority. Horn is a symbol of power. The anointing was usually put in a ram's horn. It says, but my horn shall thou exalt. Just like the horn of a unicorn is always above. You will exalt my he says and i shall be anointed with fresh oil listen 
the Lord asked me to do this before we begin to minister to the sick and all of that this is ordinary oil but there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon this and this loses its earthly significance and takes on a heavenly significance this is an anointing that is coming upon you to bring freshness to your life this is an anointing that is coming upon your life to bring remarkable breakthroughs i saw this when i was praying in a vision and that's why i'm just doing this we're going to be very fast because there are still many other things to do i'm going to pray on this and we'll put it in this plate and the ministers will help will just spread it around when they pass it to you just dab your hand and put it on your forehead and begin to blast in tongues when everyone is done then we we'll begin with the ministrations father in the name of jesus christ can you open them for this is ordinary oil but by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare that beginning from tonight they carry the anointing of the Spirit many of you as you partake of this fresh fire comes upon your life freshness listen Tonight is a night of encounter with power. Hallelujah. It's a night of encounter with power. Father, I lay my hands upon this. In a name that is above all names. May they become conduits of your power. May they become instruments of power. As this comes upon the heads of many. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that they will bring supernatural breakthroughs, supernatural freshness, supernatural grace by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost lift your voice and begin to pray and say Lord as this oil comes upon me something must break loose in my destiny are you praying as this oil comes upon me something must break loose in my destiny are you still praying Lord, I'm tired of stagnation. I'm tired of hardship. Keep praying. Lord, my heart is open. New dimension. New dimension of fire. New dimension of illumination new dimension of victory new dimension of grace don't don't start applying it yet what tired of the start is called it's gotta be more than Gotta be I want you to know that this is not an ordinary oil it has the power of God what you do is just pass it to the first person you just touch it 
and then begin to make declarations and prophecies we'll do that very quickly so that we'll finish up because there's are, there are still some other sessions and our time is already gone hallelujah it's gotta be more gotta be more father let there be all kinds of miracles and breakthroughs as your people encounter this oil in the name of jesus christ go ahead just tap it late on your head and begin to blast in tongues go ahead everybody you can put it on your hands if you want to but go ahead quickly quickly just pass it round, pass it round quickly. Make sure there's enough outside, please. Let everybody get everybody. Go ahead and pray. Make decrees. Make decrees. Believe what you are doing. Make decrees. Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Those outside, are they, do they have the oil? Please let's save time very quickly outside. Make sure you're speaking. My life will never be the same. Please rise up everybody. Let's pray for one minute. Ask the Lord to visit you and speak to your situation. Go ahead. Please pray. here kneeling with a child hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family that came here a family that came here I think this this has to do with sickness this is a family is it that you brought somebody or I'm seeing sickness and infirmity Please quickly, let's save time. We have, we still have a lot. Hallelujah. Stand up, sir. Where is your wife? Because I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft and I'm seeing oppression in your life. I don't know you, I don't know if this is your first time coming here, but the Lord wants to bring a visitation to your life. Please believe me. The Lord wants to bring you a visitation. Memuna, I'm hearing the name Memuna. Memuna, I'm hearing a name. I don't know if that's someone's name or that's someone's name. I'm hearing the name Memuna. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't have to call your case. Believe me, the atmosphere that we're in is enough to bring us that breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hearing that name Memuna, I'm going to pray for you. Is your wife sleeping? Please let her come. I just want to minister to both of you. She can return back to the car. Memuna. Mommy, where is the woman with a prayer house? That mommy, please make your way to the front. The Lord is saying I should minister to you fresh grace. Quickly, quickly, please. Where is that person?
Who among you people? You have a prayer house? Where? That's what I was calling for. Come, why are you here? What's wrong with you? Eh? I'm looking at this young boy. What is this that I'm seeing? I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing snakes all over him. This is what I'm seeing. It came from you to him. Please collect this child. Let me minister to this woman. Please don't bring anybody out until I tell you to bring them out. Why are they here? Memuna, is that your name? Help us with a mic, please. Huh? this little girl. How can such a little girl be so oppressed? You are sleeping. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this oppression leave this lady now. Mommy, I'm going to pray for you. You are stepping into a new level of the prophetic. Your eyes will be opened in a strange way. In a very, very strange way. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing close to you and pouring like oil. This is what I see happening to you. Like oil being poured upon you. And the Lord says, I should tell you, you are stepping into another dimension. A strange dimension of grace. Lord, make this happen by your grace. A strange order and a strange dimension of grace. Madam, where are you from? Madam, where are you from? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing serious oppression an attack is not just on your baby this thing you are the one who really needs to be free not even the baby you get the point but you have calm down now madam let me talk to you i'm seeing you in the spirit there's no mic okay that's all right i'm looking at this madam in the spirit and i'm seeing you fatter than this I'm seeing what happened. You were sick. Even now. I don't even know that I'll come out. It's what I'm telling you because I'm looking at you in the spirit and the weight I'm seeing is not the same with what I'm seeing right now. That's why I told you it's not the issue of your child. What is happening is simply translating from you to the child. Come, sir. You and your lovely wife. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Breakthrough. Tremendous breakthrough. Do you believe, madam? You believe that? Where do you walk? Are you walking? Where? Sterling Bank. It won't be too long. God is going to take you from that place. You know this now. You have been preparing towards. Yes. No, not true. Uh, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a referee like a you know when it's almost time in a football match this is what i'm seeing your time there is almost up and god is going to lift you i prophesy it in the name of jesus christ and i'm declaring that let this happen in the name of jesus christ there is need to pray for your child um, i'm looking at this child and i'm seeing something like symptoms of fever temperature we have to pray for him father in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit everything that is not of god upon this child i take authority over it in jesus name madam the lord says i should tell you that he's bringing you into a season of favor please i want you to believe me i don't just talk if god has not told me anything do you believe father bring this family into tremendous realms of favor in the name of jesus christ why am i seeing memuna on your head are you memuna that's your name come you too you are memuna. i'm seeing a name written on her head and i'm seeing memuna is that your name or is the name of someone? And I will restore. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, He can restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. Huh? Two things. Number one, your relationship with God. Huh? You can't be one leg in and one leg out. You get what I'm saying, right? Leave all those friends and focus. Use this night. Let this be a night of determination in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let her be free. Mama, let me pray for you. 
in the name of Jesus Christ I cause sickness I cause infirmity I'm going to pray for the sick but then I cause sickness from your body in the name of Jesus and every act of witchcraft I take authority over it in Jesus name I lay my hands upon this baby what's the name what's your child's name madam what's your child's name destiny I lay my hands upon destiny and I speak to you be made whole right now from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ madam be prayerful yeah? be prayerful there are some things I cannot show here but you see let me speak in parables you cannot come and collect my thing and pretend not to know me are you getting what I'm saying you cannot come and collect my thing in the secret and stand in the secret pretending not to know me it's very important be prayerful and he's either Lord of all he cannot share his glory with any other thing you get what I'm saying madam the Lord is going to lift you and tell you please I want to pray for your children because the devil wants to oppress them this is your child Father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray Jesus Christ. This is spirit. Let her go now. Out! By the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I pray for you. I'm seeing three babies. There are some women here. I'm seeing a woman particularly who came here specifically for the issue of fruit of the womb. Please, who is that person? I'm, no, you are not standing for anybody. You came for yourself. Who is that person? Let me just minister to the person very quickly. Please, let's save time. Fruit of the womb. Because the Lord is showing me, I just had the cry, three babies. Congratulations, madam. Where is she? Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher. There's somebody here. You are here with five broad. Right now as I'm talking. Great wisdom for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, I see the healing angels. Stepping into this place. We we'll begin to minister to the sick proper now. I don't know why God does it. But he's going to do it again in a strange way. The anointing of God is going to come upon a lady. And she's going to shout. That loud shout will usher in the coming of the healing anointing. Please don't ask me why this thing happened. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. If you're sick in your body, please make your way to the front right now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Everyone begin to pray, Lord, touch me. Please, if you're sick, just, just give them way. We're going to minister to them very quickly. Everyone will be touched. Everyone will be blessed. that's the end of it my dear that devil leaves you forever never to return never to return listen I want you to know that Jesus heals here we have a track record by the grace and the mercies of God I'm going to minister to you very quickly so that we can speak specifically please make your way to the front just organize yourself and um, bring the lady. Where's the lady under the anointing? Case here. Yeah, I know. Eh? Look at, let me just calm down. I'm seeing something very funny and interesting here. Watch this. 
this woman, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a corpse. I'm seeing somebody they have already buried. You see her? This woman is almost water to go. I mean, it's not clear there, but there's almost nothing here. Bones. Watch this. Um, the spirit that wants to kill this woman is in her son. This boy is standing. It's not like it's the boy that wants to kill her. So they went to consult with somebody. Huh? They went to consult with somebody. This person is like a herbalist. And he told them this is the boy that wants to kill the madam. He got it wrong because his understanding is limited. It's not like the boy wants to kill her. But the spirit at work in him is what is tying her. Both of them. This is the spirit of death. have died on the 22nd of this month. 22nd would have buried her. It would have been over. She would have stopped talking from 19th and died on the 22nd. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is He's awesome in power. Come on, sing it like victorious people. Our God voice and say our God is greater hey. our God is stronger Father, in the name of Jesus, I set this boy free from witchcraft by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause that spirit that is responsible for tormenting this Who speaks out now? Mama, Berta, leave her. Hey, Berta, Berta, Fadiba. She looks like a fuller human. She, she understands how sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfect her. I curse this spirit. I take her out of these dungeons of death. Right now. belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god hallelujah the last and greatest session of this meeting is where i begin to prophesy that's where people receive guest breakthroughs and testimonies we may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but i want you to know that god is going to bless you peter adola is going to come up and for the next 10 minutes or so he's going to lead us through a dimension of worship and praise unto god and the moment that happens i will come back and we'll take up the last session with prophecy and then we'll take a few announcements we're done everybody give jesus praise as we celebrate him
Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we've come to let you know. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Oh, Father, we love you. And we come to let you know you are the most high God. Father, we worship you. You are the most high God. Father, we worship you. You are the most high God. Father, we worship you. Let me say, Father. Father, we worship you. You are the most high God. Father, we worship. Say, Father, we worship you. You are the most high God. Father, we worship. Father, we worship you. Oh, oh. you are the most high God. Father, we worship you. Say. You are the most high God. We love you, Jesus. We oh, we worship. You are the most high God. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. Father, we reverence you. You are the most high God. Father, we worship. We open up our hearts. 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 Come fill us, Jesus, with the water of life. We open up our hearts to you, Jesus. We worship you. Come and pour out your spirit on every flesh, oh God. We worship you. We pour our love on you. We pour our love on you. Till every flesh is crucified in us. We worship you. You are the most high God. You are the most high God. We worship. Father, we worship you. We worship. You are the most high God. We worship. Say we worship. You are the most high God. We worship. Lift it up, we worship. You are the most high. With a hands lifted.
lifted up we worship we lift up our hands is to you Jesus oh with our hands lifted up we worship you Jesus we worship yes we worship Jesus the King of glory the Lamb of God who was slain before the foundations of the earth we worship you Jesus yeah Desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. Say I'm lost without you. Say it. I am lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. There's no me without you. There's no me without you. Say it. No me without you. There's no life without you. There's no life without you. Oh. Lord, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. I need a turn. I'm desperate for. Oh. I'm desperate for you. Desperate for you, Jesus. I can breathe without you. Desperate for you. I'm lost without your shame. I'm lost without I'm lost without you say. I'm lost without you. Church say I'm lost without you now say. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. Say, I'm lost without you. Cover us with your grace, Jesus. <laughs> Say, I'm lost without you. Let it rain on your presence, oh God. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. We give you all the glory and the honor and adoration to your holy name. Yes, I'm lost without your hands, oh God. I'm lost without you. Here is power in the name of Jesus. Here is power. Break every chain, say Break every chain, break every chain. 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 Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Come on, say, break every chain, break every chain, every chain, every chain. I see a 
chains are broken now. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. Say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every. Say break every chain. Say. Oh. oh, oh, oh.
Hallelujah to your name. Some join me and say, You have a wonderful Say hallelujah as the highest prayer. Oh, hallelujah. 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 The, the chorus said, Hallelujah. Hold you Just leave him there. It's okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have a few minutes and then we are done. I salute everyone. We'll have the last prayer session and then I'll just prophesy and speak over our lives. So can we all rise inside and outside? I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give a praise to Him alone. He who was and needs and needs to come, I will sing before His throne forever. Never. 
you're holy, holy. Yes, you are holy. holy. Hallelujah, mighty one. Psalm 66, verse 3, please. Our last prayer session. We're going to be praying and we're going to be making decrees and commanding our lives and destinies. He told Job, has thou commanded thy money? Or are you just allowing it to happen? Believers have authority, but we must put the authority to use. And then we compel these powers to submit. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. He says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. I want you to believe in the prayer session we're about to have right now. Very brief, but very impactful. And I want you to pray and pray like your heart depends on it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when Moses began to advocate the release of the nation of Israel, God's covenant people, into their promised land, when the pressure got so much, Pharaoh negotiated. He said, all right, let, we have a deal. The men can go, leave the women and the children. Leave the factors that represent the continuity of that race, the women and the children, let the men go because he knew they would perish. And Moses said, no way. We're going with our wives, our children, our cattle, and everything. So we're going to pray. The Bible says, now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And it says God had blessed him in all things, not some things all things. It's, it's possible for you to experience breakthrough and advancement in one area of your life, but then you are tied in another area. Second Kings chapter 5 tells us about a man who was the captain of the Syrian army. The Bible says he was a great man. He did exploit, fought valiantly, but he was leprous. So we want to address those buts. Those situations in our lives, yes, you have done well, you are anointed, yes, this and that, but there are certain areas, it must be total victory. Rise up on your feet. I want you to shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, Koinonia. Say in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I come against every power that attempts to fight my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I declare a release of every other area of my life that is under attack. And I declare this morning that it is my time for breakthrough. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice. Come on, pray, 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 people of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Mention the areas in your life that are pending that need the breakthrough hand of God. Mention those areas specifically. Please lift your voice and pray. Take this session seriously. We're almost done. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray for every area of your life that is yet to experience breakthrough. Decree and declare that after this vigil, you will begin to experience breakthrough in that area by the power of the Holy Spirit. We ward off the powers of hell standing against our lives and destinies. Are you praying? Om brato so so prata ke de bela de bosh ekrata ka ta bela de bosh monto ko so to poro to bosh em brato ko to bela de bela de bosh hallelujah hallelujah was you praying when moses finally
convinced Pharaoh to release them. Watch this. As they released them, while they were going, the Bible says they met a Red Sea. So they had left Egypt, but there was a Red Sea in front of them. Are we together now? And the Egyptians were back to capture them. And they began to cry. And in Exodus chapter 14, Moses said, Stand still. Stand still. He says, The Egyptians you see today, oh, you may have seen them for 430 years, but today, the Egyptians you see today, he says that you would not see them. And then he said, Moses, verse 15, now Moses was crying before God. And he said, Why will you cry? Tell the people to move forward make advancement listen this prayer we're going to pray is important because many of us this prayer will supply courage hear me it's time to move forward it's time to move forward in business it's time to move forward in your career are you hearing what i'm saying you are going to pray and say lord everything keeping me down maybe it's the failure of the past maybe it's the lies of satan he has lied to you maybe you are falling again you entered a relationship, it did not work. You have refused to enter another one to get married. You did business and it did not work. And the devil is stopping you from moving forward. You, you tried to give birth and you had a miscarriage. But right now, he said, tell the people to move forward. The signs do not go before you, they follow you. When you take the step of faith, God is ministering to someone. It's time to get back. The anointing is still there where you fell is where you will rise and excel the anointing is still there lift your voice and prophesy i'm moving forward go ahead and pray pray in my ministry i'm moving forward i refuse to allow challenges and limitations stop me inside and outside i'm moving forward in every area of my life you wanted to start a building project a challenge came and you have refused to move forward you tried to get admission you tried once twice it didn't work listen it says tell the people to move forward koinonia i announce to you an anointing by an encounter with power is upon your life to begin to move forward now prophesy lord i'm moving forward i break those barriers i refuse to see challenges that project is doable the project is doable the marriage is doable come on pray now the ministry can rise is achievable it's achievable is achievable i may have been thrown down once but it is achievable there is still an anointing hallelujah hallelujah my bible says there is hope for a tree even though it be cut down samson was a mighty man of power but for some reason he was anointed to be the judge over Israel. And for some reasons, he fell into the trap of a woman called Delilah. And that trap costed him his eyes. They plucked out his eyes and they shaved him. You would have thought that would be the end of Samson. Once a giant, the one who threatened the Philistines, the one who tore a lion and brought honey out of it, the one who removed a city gate, God is ministering to some people here. You have tasted power and honor. But something happened somewhere and brought you down. But tonight God is speaking to you that there is hope for a tree. You can rise again. When they took Samson and they took him to the temple and they were mocking him before our God, he prayed a prayer. He prayed a prayer of restoration that Lord, this one last time, let this anointing come upon me. And the Bible says he pushed. He killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime. Can I tell you something? You should know the difference between failure 
as an event and failure as a person we live in a generation where every time you fail there are so many people coming to prove to you justifying their prophecies are you getting me now you start a business or a company it fails and everybody tells you you see you start a ministry genuinely called by god no growth there is failure and people tell you stop wasting your time a gentleman gets up and says i'm going to get married and no finances no resources no job and everybody tells him you'll be a failure or maybe a student you went to the board and you saw that you're on probation let me announce to you tonight that it is never over until you choose to give up are you hearing what i'm saying i won't give up no i won't give up i'll keep pressing on till my answer comes i won't give up lord i won't give up i'll keep holding on until my change comes i will never forget our first crusade our first crusade in Joss, you would have rated it maybe a failed crusade because they were not people they were not much we saw miracles we saw mighty things but the people were few we were stranded listen a crusade would happen the crusade was to start by 5 30 as about as at three o'clock the car was still spoiled we we're still on our way going i'll never forget the driver tried and tried and tried we didn't even have enough money we just had enough money to take us there how we were going to survive are you getting what i'm saying listen when you see a successful man don't just celebrate the stories ask the person for the pains and the scars successful people are those who have forced any closed door to open they are not those who do not have challenges are you getting the point now i will never forget that crusade was powerful immediately after the crusade the sound guys were standing One hundred and fifty thousand were to pay them it looks like child's play now but then it meant a lot because even if everybody in the ministry then came together we would not be able to solve it but we knew that god sent us i knew what god had told me a great crusade the first crusade we did not even have we could not rent video cameras i'll never forget the humiliation that i went through from the sound people it was it was such a bitter humiliation those people frustrated my life literally because i could not afford it i'll never forget one doctor in chemistry department on hearing on this situation she took five thousand and sold it as a seed it was a disaster i would have easily given up and said that's it lord no ministry again imagine the millions of lives within this country and around the world who have been blessed by this ministry if i had given up at that point god is speaking to someone peter tried to catch fish all night nothing happened he would have packed up successful people are those who are audacious don't mind the mediocre around your journey to success. They will always wait there to make you feel like you're a failure. They will always make to claim their prophecy is self-fulfilling. When you succeed, I guarantee you, every one of them will change their reports about you. Nobody has time to celebrate you on your way to success. But when you arrive, the worst that can happen is that you can be criticized. But no man can deny that this is the finger of God. I remember Dr. Paul and Enche. 99 right when they went to abuja him his wife and two pastors were staying in one small room not by will that was all they could afford you would have called them failures do you know what it means for a man married with his wife and you cannot afford a house you carry your wife and two pastors you are staying in the same room but that's what it's been called today listen I want you to know right now we are going to pray you are going to challenge your fears 
and challenge your limitations those voices that have spoken to you and made you feel that you cannot become anything they may be the voices of good people they may be the voices of sincere people but i come to prove them wrong lift your voice and pray in the name of jesus everyone shout it in the name of jesus i'm determined to succeed by the anointing of the holy spirit in the name of jesus my failures of yesterday will not stop me from achieving the breakthroughs of tomorrow i receive courage and fresh grace to face this mountain and to surmount it lift your voice and pray grace oh god lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray shake it take it take it take it no weeping and just for a night joy comes with the morning no weeping and just for a night the lord is speaking to you joy comes with the morning you didn't get the admission but it does not mean it cannot be gotten the marriage didn't work out the travel abroad did not work out it does not mean you cannot travel the business did not work out it does not mean you are a failure you may not have money now you may not have connection now nobody may recognize your anointing but keep pressing keep pressing hallelujah hallelujah was he praying you are going to pray and cry for supernatural persistence and endurance listen let me tell you you can ask every one of the ministers here barack who ministered and peter adole manasseh pastor alpha ask all of them they will tell you stories and episodes of endurance listen there was a time in my life i was tightening and i was giving nothing was happening are you getting what i'm saying any man that just tells you it just happened like that lied to you i'm telling you there are seasons in your life where it looks like your heavens are closed although they are not closed are you getting what i'm saying nothing like a result is happening you are planting bearing precious seeds but nothing is happening as a man of god you know the anointing upon your life while you are laboring in the spirit nobody is recognizing your grace to invest in it you can be a great worshiper and for many years you may be moving around crying for just one open door but the doors may not open listen to me you can be a lady pretty and virtuous you've done everything you need to do in your strength sincerely speaking you've done everything you know a woman should do to be prepared for marriage before god and men everyone knows truly you are prepared for marriage all the demons to be casted have been casted out but no man is coming and vice versa for a man you may graduate with a great degree you have served you've even complimented on your degrees submitted cvs let me tell you something in every man's life there are seasons of persistence and endurance i want you to know this don't let any man fool you god is a god of speed not rush god does not rush he brings speed not rush there are seasons where you are proven the bible says john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance there is something called a man's season of appearance you can manifest before your season of appearance and keep struggling trying to find relevance years ago he may remember we went for a meeting in, in kaduna a very powerful meeting and when we went there there was a man of god who was supposedly a bishop there was nothing bishop about him when you launch yourself without your season of appearance the man was there and after the meeting i i could not even figure one person who came to say kai man of god you blessed me 
The bishop was there moving around. No friend. No car. No nothing. We went to the restaurant. He just sat down somewhere and was just taking his powerhouse. Nobody was even encouraging him. And I said in my mind, Lord, if this is how it means to be a bishop, I don't want. This honor, when God blesses you, he brings honor with it. When you launch yourself, you will keep floating looking for relevance. I'm speaking to many of us here. We are at the verge of breakthroughs. Keep holding on. There are times you don't need to do anything new. You just need to keep doing what you are doing. Because what you are doing is not wrong. If a baby, we have a few babies around here. If a baby suddenly decides to take one drum of breast milk, that baby will not suddenly get up and become an adult because he took breast milk. If an old man starves himself to die, he will not suddenly become young because there was no food. Are you getting what I'm saying? And Jesus grew. He didn't become. He didn't jump. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. Life is in dimensions. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And there are times in your life you will need to wait. Listen, you may be a man of God, anointed. It is true that God has spoken to you about ministry. But for now, all you will be doing is cleaning tables. Be faithful. You must receive grace for endurance. Because let me tell you, hope defers makes the heart weary. The heart of man is is, is very fragile. The moment you wait after a season of practicing kingdom principles and you don't see results, naturally speaking, naturally speaking, fatigue will come in. You're going to lift your voice. Are you still tired? We're rounding up. This is a very important prayer point. Lift your voice and say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I receive grace for endurance. I receive grace for persistence. I receive grace for resilience. I will wait. I will be patient until my season of appearance. Lift your voice and pray. Patience, oh God. If you turn aside in the day of battle, it says your strength is small. Lift your voice and pray. Lekata baka rebodosh, ombra bata kata lebosh, lekata kata bara lebosh, lekata prosko soto prosh, embroto skopite hich. Rataka bara bara lebosh, lekata bara bara lebosh, embrata kata leboko sobosh, rakata tete, embroto kosoto prosh, lekata tete boro boro lebosh. Persistence. Persistence, endurance in prayer, endurance in obedience. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. The Bible tells us that a virgin called Mary was just minding her business one day suddenly an angel appears to her listen appears to her with a prophetic message thou art highly favored blessed are you among women and she wondered what salutation this was and the angel began to tell her that she was going to carry a baby and she said how shall these things be i know not a man just like god is telling you the same you who is standing one day you will own your television station and the world will be watching you and you look around and say how shall these things be and he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you watch this the moment god told mary because her life at that time was an unusual life and then the angel recommended her to elizabeth somebody who was carrying the same mystery and the same vision you will never make it in life if you are the only one who looks like you. There must be people around your life that can identify. No matter how mystical the instructions are, there must be somebody around your life that can say, although this looks strange, I see that the hand of God is upon it. Loneliness 
in destiny has killed many people they are carrying visions they they have no other shoulder to lean on and mary went to elizabeth every other woman would have said you are very stupid tell us the rabbi you slept with that you are lying that a spirit got you pregnant but she went to a woman who had been barren for a long time so she's in a position that can identify with these kinds of supernatural things watch this and the bible says as soon as elizabeth mary and elizabeth saw the babies the destinies in their wombs leapt you need people around your life that can look at you and say that 300 million naira project is doable how much do you have 10 naira say yes i was once like that you need people in your life that can be crazy enough and you say sir i'm trusting god for a house or a car by the end of the year how much do you have two thousand he said you are even better than me when i was about to buy the car i had 500 naira suddenly you know you are not alone there is nothing as encouraging as finding a madman like you somebody who can agree with you and say it is doable it's a dangerous thing for a man of god dangerous thing for a businessman dangerous thing for a destiny shaker to be around people who do not have any experience that can engineer faith in you are you getting what i'm saying that you come and say my sister i want to share with you something don't be afraid though say what is it say do you know i don't have a womb and the lady will not say ah what is all that say abba your case is a simple case there was a woman like that it's not just that she didn't have a womb in fact her own was a, a bad case but she had twins you see that that's elizabeth you need to call for elizabeth to your life because many of us are about giving up on visions that are of god but there are no motivators there are no people to tell you it is doable who said you can't start a bank everybody say bank what nonsense are you talking about somebody tells you you can do it you can do it you can start the bank you pray them into your life are you getting me there are ladies right now this is august but you heard from god genuinely and you are trusting god to be settled by december you, if you meet a wrong person the person will look at you and say i have what nonsense how many months will it take for traditional marriage how many months will it take to raise offering uh, sorry to raise the uh, raise the money for the marriage how long will it take do you know how much wedding gown is do you know how much it means to rent a house do you have 1.5 million all those devilish things you need to throw those people away and meet somebody who tells you i i met my guy in october we married by december 15th it is possible lift your voice and say in the name of jesus i call forth to my life the elizabeths of my destiny say after me in the name of jesus i call into my life my destiny motivators may they come to encourage me in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray we call for the elizabeth we call for the elizabeth we call for the elizabeth men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion hallelujah i always say never stand before pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush say encounters bible faith starts with encounters encounters produce convictions convictions now allow you to act and take steps it is that step that is called faith hello believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction 
of who God is and the integrity of his word. That's faith. Until action is taken, there is no faith. Are we together now? I've always given this example. Um, let me use you, John. Hold on. I'm going to stand there. Stand there. Just stand there. I'm going to call John. I want you to answer me, but don't come. Is that all right? John, come. Say, I'm coming. Has he come? So as far as I'm concerned, you have not obeyed me because this should be the reward for your obedience. Now, you have answered that you are coming, but you have not come. I interpret your not coming as a sign that you, you are expressing concern about my reliability. You are wondering if I really have this. But if I say, John, come, and you come, come. That step of faith puts pressure on my integrity. If I am joking, I better found a way of correcting it. Are we together now? Yes. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4, listen. The Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer. And then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled. Now, they were not stupid. That man was crippled. If you've seen a crippled man, you know that there are no strength in his limbs. Even if he stands, you know that he would take the grace of God. And then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms. And then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. He said, but such as I have. Listen, I give unto you. He says, in the name of Jesus, I come under an authority. I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government. And I ask you, if you believe, stand. The Bible says the man was still looking at them. Now, I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities, but at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith. And then the Bible says Peter had to help him. Hold my hands. The Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping, leaping. The power is released at the point of action. It is the action that makes it faith. Not the determination to act. The determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith. But the faith is only when action is taken. He leaping stood. He leaping stood. He would have remained there forever. He leaping stood. Are we together now? Yes. So when, when, when you hear the word of God, you see this is why the dispensing of the word of God is so important because faith is based on a basis and the basis is not good word. The basis is not good intention. A nice positive statement cannot give you faith. It does not have the capacity to release that. God is only committed to backing what is his word. Are we together now? If it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word, there is no platform. You may act, but you are not acting upon the word. You are acting upon an information. So the word of God comes. And then you hear that word listen like you are hearing right now and you believe and the holy ghost helps your unbelief he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that god is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barring and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you're seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging 
their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe i i believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again are we together confession is a generic action that it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the Lord your tithe. Are we together now? No matter how much you confess your heavens opening, you must take that action. And if you take that action not believing, you just dropped money. You drop 10% of an amount. It's not a charm. The power is released through understanding. I am coming because I have an understanding. I have a comprehension of what I am doing. And Lord, I thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven. Hebrews 7 and verse 8, the Bible says, Here on earth men gave tithes, but in heaven he received them. Talking about the system with which God performs that function of his office that is in the order of Melchizedek. Right? Like he received the tithe of Abraham and spoke a blessing upon Abraham. So he, our Melchizedek, our high priest, receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives. But that will never happen just by dropping money. It's not about the money. There is an understanding. So your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens. Are we together now? You pray and fast, it is spiritual, but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to. So it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by God's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire. Are we together? One time, Jesus prayed for someone who was blind. And the Bible says, in this case, he spat on the ground. And then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising God and danced there for one day he would never be open he would, the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now Mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we search scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir 
it will always come from God through men to you are we together Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works that was not the limitation of his power it was not the limitation of his spirit but the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire tonight listen ladies and gentlemen God did not gather us here to waste our time it is within his power to change our lives it is within his power to wipe our tears are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed There are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away there are people here with sicknesses diseases infirmities real sicknesses probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals and um maybe they've told you you have a few months to live you have a few weeks to live now and of course we have a lot of doctors here i respect their opinion that's their opinion is their educated opinion but tonight whose report will you believe i believe in jesus i believe in his words There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues. Husband is about to go. Wife is about to go. Children are haywire and they are trusting Lord would you give us order. Of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order. I mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of God's understanding and he can deal with it. Because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if God is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the God we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting God for children and all of that I came back from Abuja um, in the course of the week and um, when I went there I was I was counseling a few people and then I saw a young lady I think a, a couple or so I can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time I was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting God for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes I don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but I choose to reject it it's a choice 
anything that is not consistent with the counsel of God it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with God's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for God wants to step in there are people here and I believe this probably affects a lot of people especially with the recession the reality of lack and poverty Lord what is the way out Lord what is the way out I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth we've shared extensively there are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom and I would plead that you get those teachings they are free because when it comes to prosperity the gospel has to be taught there is an understanding that must be built in your mind now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen there are people here trusting God for direction. You have come confused, not knowing what to do. You thought you had God, but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you. I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction. And finally, all of these are lists that the Spirit of God was just writing out for me as I, I mean just stating out as I, I, I wrote them out. And lastly, there are people here trusting God for very strong impartations. What is an impartation? A transference of possibilities. Transference of possibilities. Impartation is as real as the chair you are sitting on. You can transfer possibilities. Possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibility see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this i want you to know that the god of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight the Lord is going to be healing the sick the Lord is going to be setting the captives free and like I told us last week it is also an anointing service and I don't I don't do anointing services carelessly but there are instructions that God gave me the anointing oil that will be used tonight the Lord asked me it's been with me since uh, I think yesterday I prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it. There is a heavy grace. Oil does not anoint. The oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed. Nothing is anointed on its own. It has to be anointed to become a platform. Are we together now? Tonight, what is your responsibility? Be convicted. Be persuaded that God is able. All that has happened before now, the prayers, the testimonies, and all of that is to build your faith. Some of you are coming here for the first time. You've heard about the miracles. Many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God. Everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing. We have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake. Everybody is a devil. Everybody is using charm. You know, I humorously said it last week. Uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people i'm honored every time i have the opportunity to minister there are people streaming from all over the world with different issues several nations at least 47 or so nations of the world if i'm not mistaken connecting and god cannot be joking he's not playing games with us are we together everybody say i believe 
Say, Lord, tonight I believe you. I know you are able and I trust you to step in. In the name of Jesus. It will be for you like day and night. Just all of a sudden, you will find out that that door that has been closed, maybe forever. Listen, it doesn't take time. Time is not in the equation. I've taught you this. Time is never in the equation. The anointing of the Spirit is not a suggestion. The anointing of the Spirit is God's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with. Are we together now? We are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men. This is not some kind of superior science. This is not superior spiritism. We are talking of God showing up in the scene. Standing face to face with a man's barrier. Hallelujah. I want you to be angry tonight. And insist. Thank you. And say Lord that door must be open. I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while. That you get up in the morning and within three days, one door opens, another door opens, another dimension of encounter. All of a sudden, hunger. All of a sudden, you step back to your church and fire on the altar. I mean, just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles, signs and wonders. You bless people, you shake someone's hand, and all through that day, a door opens. You introduce something. I believe it. I believe it. The Lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural. Supernatural. Not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results. Literally, that your life becomes a testament. That they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they called them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods. Because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men. Listen, believe it. Believe it, brothers and sisters. Yokes are breakable. Causes are destroyable. Limitations are breakable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you over. You are the victors around. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive. The spirit and the bride telling the word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, Come, come, Lord Jesus. Come, miracles. Come, breakthroughs. Come, deliverances. Come open doors, come speed, come speed, lose chains, lose bands. God is a mighty God. Do not allow your situations 
diminish the power of God it doesn't take time the level of grace it takes to produce your results is available mm. it's available I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit number one is through encounters when you have an encounter something is deposited into you number two by obedience to principles there is a dimension of god's power that is deposited in principles whether a believer or an unbeliever whoever activates those principles that dimension of his power is released immediately like the power of seed time and harvest is not for christians a dimension of god's power was encapsulated in that principle but the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with god men have covenant with god not old and new their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you will fit us around you overcome you overcome Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You will evict us around. You overcome. You overcome. Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but but something happened. I was sleeping, and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream. Yesterday, now, while I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover and then I had a dream. Now, you know, I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people. And I had the, a dream and then the Lord was telling me, you know, I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you. And then something strange happened. I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and i looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the lord says i should put my hand on this jar this jar and i tell you i was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time I noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up I don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me I started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and I was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left I just locked the door and I sat down and boom my room was full of God's presence and all of that and, and I, I when I sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden I saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute and say father I'm set for your visitation my faith is alive and I believe you lift your voice and pray my faith is alive I believe you Jabrandos Katapracatalados and Kreto Catalabrande Sekate Pracatalabadas Jabrete Catebrosco do Brandi Gedibalas Jabrandis Cariada Balarabalabos Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah.
we are going to be very fast tonight is a vigil i know that in fact you can't believe how far time has gone but i trust god for grace tonight i want to see how god will grant me grace and i'll be able to come out to all the overflows all the overflows one two three by the grace of god and he will grant us grace in the name of jesus christ 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 please bring the three people now that the power of god comes i'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here all inside here now Will you open up the gate? Yeah. Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Karato sodo braska da bali atakata. Open up the gate. Kabranda gata sodo bosko la bari atakata. Open up the door. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys, we know this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three. Take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Take it, take it, take it, box right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos. E prekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost, breakthroughs. Shapos katala tosia, embrekete ketosh, shakato setash. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus this is a baptism keys that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing a bunch of keys lord jesus for your glory let the closed door open at the count of three one two three the name that is above all names access in the realm of the spirit Shapato sote lekata. I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Access to dimensions, access to levels, access to possibilities. Close doors opening. The Lord showed me gates. And I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the spirit of the Lord is, 
there is liberty I decree and declare the opening of strange gates the opening of strange gates hallelujah hallelujah we are going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass around and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of Jesus Shebakato soto pakaratos Shebrez kete kata Lembre kete kato soto bash Miracles in the name of Jesus Miracles, 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 miracles By the anointing of the Holy Ghost Miracles in the name of Jesus Supernatural miracles I release you now I release you now I release you now I release you now Step into anointings. Step into graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of the living God. There are chains I've seen on people's hands. Chains, 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 chains. Chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Get ready this road. I see chains, 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 chains. Let it break now. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains. Break it, break it, break it. Shadow Rakataka, let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken. Broken, 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 broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus. Broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 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 I'm seeing the hand of the Lord. A wind of His Spirit coming here. Lord, what is happening here in the name of Jesus? Shebas Kotos Kaba. I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit, out of a pit, out of a pit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare, I decree and declare, captivity ended. In the name of Jesus. Make up a rato kotosh, leke te kata, prakatos otosh, embre te kete karatos. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring leaves now. That demonic ring leaves now. I see it by the spirit. That demonic ring leaves now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings, rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Ata paratoshi, ente karato kotoba, shekretos kilabaya, embreketo koshubreke. Can I go out? Rata karoto shubreke deka. Those outside, I want you to get ready. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place in the name of Jesus. Barato Shesesika, Ekreto Sopraka, Maleketo Shekreskaya, Ebrekete Ketelekata, Shabrakato Skelia. Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, 
no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit, now, be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit, the Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. Kapota kata. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. Jesus Christ, I command that devil, Madam, look at me, the Lord is bringing you breakthrough now, I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is saying in your tears, I'm coming to you, I know you are far but I will come to you, I stretch my hands now, in the name of Jesus, the anointing is taught some people here, I'm still like chains broken, chains broken, let it break right now, in the name of Jesus, out of him, in this young man be God now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus out now out now out now out now be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus look at me my dear the Lord is saying I should tell you that your sins are over over in the name of Jesus. Over now, in the name of Jesus. Say no matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, there is a spirit in this. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here God wants to. Now. Declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands. Now. Listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this. Four now. Three. Overflow. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Something is going to happen right to the back. I'm seeing fire. One, two, three. Now. Now, now, now. Cause those spirits. I release breakthroughs now. In this overflow. In the name of Jesus. To the back. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I'm seeing several of you inside pits. Come out now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on. Be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is something. God is touching you. The first four rows inside. Inside the main building. First four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let, let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to I see a lot of witchcraft in your family and the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside.
came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No. Wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you, Salome. Come, stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please, don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Two of you, shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. That's the end of it. Lord, I set them free. Help them under the anointing. Please, there is somebody. The Spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what God is people outside. There is somebody around here. I want to prophesy to the person. Bring the person. That's the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm seeing a snake. God. My God. I'm seeing a, not, not this person. I'm seeing a snake. And the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm Lord, that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to be has to be free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus here it is is coming now I see like light coming on someone right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I set you free I'm ministering to people Kauna. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please move to me fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oga, oh come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I'm seeing a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now. This very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus. It's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk it to the front and then I'll come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very much because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to stand up. That anybody on a wheelchair or on a your foot, stand up right now. When I ask you to stand up, you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um, my God. 
I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is it you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. Them now. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power of the Spirit. The life of the life of God by the power of the Spirit. Lease life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness, leaves, every trace of darkness leaves, 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 leaves now, leaves now, 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 leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. It must go now. It must go now. Someone with pile is being healed now. Somewhere here. Someone with pile is being healed now. Someone with pile, you're going to feel like fire going through your body. We'll pray for the sick shortly. Be healed now. Fire is on your head. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a yoke of delay here. This road. Somebody, somebody has to be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's to a new level. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is renewing, renewing, renewing. I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here. And he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, Shate Sekotas Kalapratia Embrekete. Please help them, my God. Shembrakatos Koto Pradisha La Pariata Kata Ekros Ketepo Shabre de Ketala Le Greto Shekras Kadabarata Pash Embreketia. My sister, you are praying and I'm hearing your prayer. Come. You are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears, and the Lord is saying I should that He should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband. Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. Right? The Lord is going to set them free because I've seen everything is tied down for this family. Nothing is working. Is that true? The Lord is going to step in now. Edo State. Edo State. I'm from Edo State. But the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm pray for you. Please. Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the Spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now, everyone from Benway State, get ready. The anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State. Benway State. The Lord is setting people free. Benway State right now. Shekratos, Kalatos, inside and outside, Benway State, Benway State, inside, outside, Benway State, I see breakthroughs coming, Benway State, anointings, Mata Lakota, is a sign and a wonder that the Lord does, where he locates people by states, locates people by states, I'm praying now, if you're in Benway State, this unction is on you, the work is on you, inside, my God, I'm seeing people inside, inside the main auditorium. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. I'm hearing Otuko, Otuko, 
breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, or to go Jakato Sekete, Egreto Shalabariata, Embrakato Jataya Lakosata. Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, you're st I'm standing close to you and your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the There's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus. You are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe? I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace. This evening, there are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe. Is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit her family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Enugu. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you're writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking to Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You're from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people, sound and Kaduna. Miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover, the cover of a well being opened. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the Spirit of the living God. By the Spirit of the living God. By the Spirit of the living God. Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end. In the name of Jesus Christ, captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy, Italy, a country, Italy, who has a relative in Italy. You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My elder sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is, is, these are not just miracles. They are called signs and wonders. They are operations of the Spirit. You can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the Spirit. It's not so magic. These are operations. These are superior dimensions of the operation of the Spirit of the living God. I want to pray for the lady in Italy. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now. A miracle right now. Something is leaving you, even you who is standing. This has caused delay in your life. The Lord is about to give you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a, you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. In the name of Jesus. You play football? Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe, the devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. 
When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm saying. Is that true? Yes. I told you. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where is your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand in your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I'm seeing fire. It's like it's looking for someone in this room. This is something that has to do with someone's family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just this room. Because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. The power of God will come upon whoever that person is. And that will end it right now end it right now family god is touching the families in the name of jesus it is not by power it's not by might it's by the spirit of god it's not by power in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me someone's prayer request prayer point number one let my sister have a child who is that prayer point number one you are wearing red Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three years. Did she have a child before? No, but my brother has. Did she take in before? No. Hmm. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing me. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, there is not necessary. Hold on, I'm not just praying for barren people at random, but just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai, please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes, uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things, but this guy, your own is acute. You are here, but truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing that you have some. I don't know whether it's at home. Please, who is that? Don't be embarrassed. The Lord wants to set you free. If you sit down, that's your, that's, that's for you. Whether you are inside, outside, make your way. Don't be ashamed. Just come out here. I want to pray for you now. 
My dear, I want you to call. Where are they? Who, who are you standing in for? Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. You? No, You're the, my sister. Your sister. Okay, I want to pray. The person I'm talking about, please summon the courage to stand here. I want to pray for you. I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. He, ha he has two children. How, how many two children? Hold on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes... Uh, huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? I uh, can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing, the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves, you see. Those leaves. There is a lady. Come and join him. I'm seeing a lady. Don't be embarrassed. Please, Jesus is setting you free. There is a lady. You can't help yourself. This is not the issue of being good or bad. Please run boldly and come. If you waste our time, you just sit where you are. One lady, there is a lady. This thing has destroyed. It's not like you like it, but you can't help it. It comes upon you like an anointing, and you have to come. My dear, let's pray. We have to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. I terminate the yoke of barrenness right now. Sister and brother, in the name of Jesus, they take him now. You're here for the same reason? You're here for the same reason? In the name of Jesus, you're standing for yourself? your sister if i ask for people who have who want children except you are standing for somebody if you are standing for yourself make sure you are you have a husband or a wife praise god we, we are bible believers but we are not stupid people make sure you are married officially because i know that there are people who just live together um you don't you don't love god and then we have to stay of course god is merciful the spirit of god is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for in the name of jesus let there be miracles we are a family nobody looks down and embarrasses there's no condemnation here whatsoever we are here to help we are here to show you the message of god hold my hands my dear this is a lady ah no this is not how the person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is... You understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on. Don't worry. We are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned... Um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, staring he's at from me. Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. He's from Benway State. See how the guy is yes, staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what we are saying. <laughs> 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 
It's a very long distance. Stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy. He's a nice person. This, this is what we, we and Co can do. Let's pray. Let's pray. My friend, don't worry. We are praying for you. Eh? It's not just you. Stretch your hands, saints of God. You are anointed. Let's pray for him. Lord, help this gentleman. Please, I still insist, this lady, if God grants you grace, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. We love you. And in the name of Jesus, we pray for you sincerely. By the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We're still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? My sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear, come. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes this thing. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Where? Eh? Come. You're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady. You can see very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like some of them. It may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, maturity does not deliver people from spirits. You can be growing older and still remain. You believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? Thank you. You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you'll try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Ah. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges, their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? You will follow up this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies, it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here, you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it, in the name of love, in the name of relationship, and, and in the name of wanting to marry you, they derail you from the path of God. Anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person. That prayer has already been answered. The answer is no. Leave the person quickly. Don't say I'm waiting on God. God is not a fool. 
Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details. And your Rebecca, all of you, three of you, I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name, over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana. Gashina, Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana. Gashina. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. Let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction. And my God, what a joy to life. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jabrato Scalabrin de Geva Sarabakuria Takatash. Jabrato Sosobre de Shikarata. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Mandala Kapratos Katavridish Kalabrania Kata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Linkratoske, are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for we agree for wonders. Mante kalas kotambria tato siziata katalo karusia. Bredo gosho bredis kalabrata kata paradash. Le kata prando susi priata. E kata. Jabrata shepregede bosh. Pray. We receive miracles. We receive signs. We receive wonders. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release miracles to families, release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and declare, agree with me. Right now, let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now. Lord, this is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world lord we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Visit the barren, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word. Let there be miracles. We release miracles, 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 miracles 
in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you we thank you we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now we're getting to the last phase we're going to pray on this hallelujah let me tell you something about this oil you are seeing is is truly an oil of wonder I spent uh, the night praying no oil in itself is anointed please be careful don't hurt her don't ah uh, hold on <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her my dear be comfortable okay this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um, if she doesn't feel the strength to stand on force her or you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigilo okay take her gradually you try to walk to where well while they are carrying you please when you keep her exercise there's no reason oh dear there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so i was talking about this oil um there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um, stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the word of god and as directed by the holy spirit last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoints these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we're doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please we'll make it very fast you can see that it's already five o'clock it's almost as if um, it was not a vigil <laughs> praise God father we give you all the praise I lift up this jar of oil and in the name of Jesus Christ we call it an oil of breakthrough say amen we decree and declare let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough the supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this I pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders in the name of Jesus let this provoke angelic visitations in the name of Jesus Christ and let this cause the Holy Spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because I was anointed in the name of Jesus may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the Spirit in the name of Jesus we dedicate this I command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the spirit representing breakthrough at the same time let this be an oil of judgment in the name of Jesus Christ let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the Holy Spirit God's ability God's ability is working in me hallelujah we have to say it. father in the name of jesus i thank you i'm anointing you so that you will stand and as i lay my hands i pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first i want you to believe it this is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life supernatural grace supernatural grace supernatural grace anointing of the holy ghost fresh dimensions in the name of Jesus that grace that anointing that grace that anointing that grace that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ okay so you can give it to them father we decree and declare this is an oil of supernatural breakthrough I can always add please quickly station yourselves we're going to be praying all through as soon as 
as soon as the oil touches you, please, I want you to begin to pray. Worship team, you give us. Uh, okay, just play the instruments. We'll just begin to pray in the spirit. Everyone praying in the spirit. As the oil comes upon you, begin to declare, speak forth, release your faith. Lord, we decree and declare right now. Let miracles begin. Let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You can stand here. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. As soon as you touch the oil, begin to prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare the word of the Lord becomes my testimony. The oil is anointed. Mande brothers, calabrede, chefrete, secato, prata, catapalada. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Make sure everyone is anointed. Make sure everyone is anointed. Young, old. Sambra di casso di briada balada bosch. Madi brasa zize anacosada cross calabar. Please keep standing, everybody. It's morning already. I want to make an altar call quickly. Our time is up. It's just two minutes to six. Please keep standing. No moving around inside, outside. There are people here. You have seen the power of God. You have seen the grace of God. And you're saying, Apostle, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to hand my life over to God like the dear lady who came out um, and many other people. I know that it is morning, but it should not rob you. The greatest miracle, literally and truthfully, is an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you are inside, you are outside, any of the overflows online, you are following and you are saying, man of God, I want you to pray with me. And at the same time, there are people you have given your heart to the Lord, but things happen around your life. Your life went haywire and you need your sin. I, I cannot go back the way I came. I want to have this restoration, this encounter. I'm rededicating my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, please, we have just two minutes for you. Inside, outside, please clear the way for them. Make sure you don't discourage them. Let's appreciate them as they come. Wherever you are, God bless you. Make your way to the front. Are you appreciating them? They are coming. Please run, run quickly. Inside, outside. If you are coming, I want you to run. God bless you. God bless you. Clap hands for them. They are coming. God bless you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Keep coming. Don't let anyone stop you. If you are joining them, please come quickly. Clear the way for them. Overflow one, two, three, and then the fourth one. Those online connect with us. I'm about to lead them to a very special prayer. Very special prayer. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Tonight, come, join them quickly. Tonight, you're coming from outside quickly, quickly, quickly. Join them, join them. Let's be very fast. Let's be very fast. Quickly. Say after me, all of you standing here, say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. I ask you to cleanse me, forgive my sins. I believe you, you were raised from the dead, and now you are alive. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare by the authority of scripture that I'm a child of God. I decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life is given to me right now. I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, we present to you the ones you died for. And we decree and declare that this will begin the beginning of a great journey in their lives. I, I declare that your sins are forgiven. I command that the power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of Satan is broken over your life in the name of Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed 
will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.